Hey guys, good morning. It is just after 9 a.m. I've been up since about 7.10. Um, on the desk, got all the girls off to school. Things loud. I guess it doesn't get any lower. Um, yes, I'm headed to my mom's office to weigh in. I'm super excited. I got out of the house all by myself this morning, got ready, and feeling pretty good I need to get my eyebrows done bad though but if I don't have time for that today or if she's just not having it I may just do them myself plug them at home you know what I'm saying okay I figured out how to turn it down I'm sitting here waiting for my mom apparently she had to pick up her boss and they're running a few minutes late so I'm just going to sit here and wait the one time last week I was late I didn't get here until like 9 40 and this week I'm on time and she's running late. I wish I had tweezers so I could pluck my eyebrows. I don't think I have any in this car. I have a set in the pilot, but I don't think I have any in this car. No. Darn, this would be the perfect opportunity to pluck them. I really just, like I said, want to get them done, but I don't think the eyebrow place opens up until 10, maybe even 11. I need to check and I don't want to if I can help feeding her out in public, like if I ha if I don't have to feed her in the car, I'm I would prefer that. I'd prefer to make it home, but it may not happen because by the time I actually weigh, I want to go to Walmart first because I have a few things to pick up there. I could get my groceries at Walmart, but I much prefer HEB's produce and their prices. So I don't know. I may pick up groceries at Walmart we'll see luckily I don't need a ton so that's helpful but I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I'll make all the errands in time so hopefully my weigh-in goes well the only thing I messed up on this morning was I did not bring breakfast that's what I was going to do if I had known mom was running late I would have made something like just even a microwave sandwich or something but I didn't, so that stinks. Oh, I made it to Walmart. My hair, I don't even know why I bothered with it. It's going to get curly because it's raining outside and the second water hits my hair, it's done. So I have to pick up a few things at Walmart for the girls. I don't even know what section to look at for some of this stuff. And honestly, I stayed a little bit later at my mom's office for like an hour so maybe even a little bit more so I probably will have to go home before I get groceries Emmy has a spelling bee today at 4 30 so I'm gonna go to that also so I may just do a grocery pickup or I may pick up a few things while I'm here at Walmart <coughs> as long as little Miss Everly does okay I came in here for poster boards and frames and somehow I ended up with baby clothes. Go figure. Are you picking your head up? We're just here relaxing. I'm about to leave. I'm about to feed her and then leave for Emmy Spelling Bee. We're here, we're here relaxing. <laughs> I got to go upstairs and edit. I chose to have lunch here at home. I didn't have breakfast so that was bad but I had lunch here at home. I had one of the Asian meals that I bought yesterday at Costco and some of the spring rolls. It was like a little bit of a cheap meal, but still within my points for the day. So that was nice. And I wanted a piece of chocolate, so I had a piece of chocolate. Counted it in my points. Now I'll just be having a very lean dinner. I did lose today. I do want to do a weight loss video. Like I said earlier, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between I just don't know that I'll be able to keep up with it on my other channel, which is mostly what I'm afraid of. But I have been doing my grocery hauls over there for some time now. Was that burp or were you yawning? You're picking up your head. Oh my goodness, you're such a big girl. You're such a big girl. I cannot believe she is six weeks. Look at Lola. Wherever I am, she is. And she's so big too, I'm like... I don't even know how big, how what a healthy weight for a cat is her size. In fact, I need to call and make her comprehensive appointment for the vet. She's almost a year old. 
she's 10 months. Anyway, um, what was I saying about the weight loss videos? I, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. Do you like hearing weight loss updates here on my vlog channel, just like incorporating them into the vlogs? Or would you rather see a sit down style weight loss Thursday type of thing like I used to do when I was just counting calories? <laughs> Look at you, you big girl. Look at this outfit. It's like, it fits her, but her toes are starting to get a little tight in it. I'm like, oh, she's getting big. It's so sad. I'm never going to have a one month old again. Aww. If you hear snoring, it's Bella. <laughs> she's laying right here on the floor next to me. And she snores. Go, girl, go. You go, mama, see death. So anyway, I did get the vlog edited, which is super cool. I have an assignment due tomorrow night. So tonight, Andres gets off at five. No clue what I'm gonna do for dinner yet. No clue. We have a lot of food, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. And tomorrow, I need to make a larger meal for everyone, because they're coming over for Nin's birthday. And I need to figure out what to make. I don't know. It's so hard. It, it honestly is so much easier when you're just eating whatever you want, but dinner is still a hard thing. Even when you're eating whatever, you don't have to track anything, you don't have to count it. You still have to figure out what to eat. It's still a battle every day of my life. I read a meme, actually I think yesterday, that said something about who knew adulting was so like figuring out what to have for dinner for every day for the rest of your life or something like that it was like a funny meme and it's so true that is the hardest part and no matter how much i try and meal plan and figure out what we're doing for dinner every night i can't i feel like we just constantly go to the same things over and over again and because of that things get a little repetitious you're laying on lola <laughs> say well if you move lodita Say, if you move, Lotita, tell her. Tell her, Mama. Tell her. Say, move. <gasps> Hi, baby girl. Hi. <gasps> Hi. Hi, Mama. Hi. I feel like she's going to smile any day now. Both of the other girls smiled right around six weeks. It was like six weeks and a couple days. So I feel like any day we're going to get a smile. <gasps> huh? Mommy wants to see a smile. One of these days I'm going to look at you and you're going to smile at mommy, huh? What are you doing? So anyway, I'm just kind of waiting for her. It looks like she's starting to get ready to eat, which is perfect timing. It's 3.15 and I would have to leave soon to pick up the girls from school anyway, but because she has her spelling bee at 4.30, I wanted to try and leave here around four and make sure I make it on time and find a parking and all that good stuff. So I'm just kind of waiting around for that. I, okay, so for dinners and stuff, and if you guys can recommend, if you follow me on Instagram, leave me a direct message um, just send me a DM. It's just so much easier. I read the comments, but it, at least I have like something to refer back to. Send me a DM with the people that you that are on Weight Watchers that you recommend the most, because I follow a couple of Weight Watcher girls on Instagram and a couple of them on YouTube, but I need more inspiration. So if you love somebody or you love a cookbook or something that has a lot of ideas for dinners and meals, let me know in a DM, that would be great, I'd appreciate it. So I'm gonna finish watching Sister Wives before I have to leave. We are home, um, it was a super cute evening. It was kind of, we were kind of in a rush, story of our lives nowadays, especially, I was feeding Everly right before I was supposed to leave. Um, you're okay? And Andres got home right in time, we left and went to the spelling bee. You don't need an ice pack for your head. No, you don't. Okay, she just wants an ice pack. Anyway, um, it was super cute. She was against the entire school, everyone that made it to this 
level um, and they went 12 rounds and she won second place. I am so excited for her. She did so amazingly well. She had so many words that I did. Luckily we studied because she had a couple of words that we actually studied. Um, she had a couple that we didn't even look at. And then once they got to a certain round, they were like trying to weed out kids. So instead of doing it from the like national spelling bee list, they did it from Webster's Merrill Webster's something something list of like words that they haven't got to study and that kind of knocked out some kids and she passed two rounds during that one and ended up with second place. I am like she did so amazing. I'm so so proud of her. This is at Emmy with Emmy. We got Maddie towards the end so Maddie got to watch her win too. She was so excited so proud of herself. All her studying paid off. I'm very proud of her. So the word that she went out on was influential um and the last part she spelled it with a c instead of a t so i mean but oh my gosh she she amazes me every single day maddie came in losing a, another tooth poor kid she looks pretty holy she's missing this tooth or maybe this one she's missing one of her top teeth this one i think and then this one's like super loose so she's starting to look a little janky and then she has two adult teeth here and she just lost this one today so she um well the tooth fairy will be paying her a visit and poor thing she's gonna be pretty holy for a little while now because it doesn't even look like there's a tooth growing behind that one so yeah i have a splitting headache and I don't know what it is because I ate today. I got enough sleep last night, I felt like. Uh, I mean, enough to function. And um, the only thing is that I didn't have coffee this morning, but I don't feel like I've had enough coffee lately to have like a caffeine headache. So I'm, I guess it must be sleep. But yeah. You want to show it? How do you spell influential? Influential. I N F L U E N. T I A L. Yeah, she'll never forget that word now. So good. So let me see. Let me see your trophy. It's super cute. It's very cute. Look at the top. It's a little spelling bee. Oh my gosh, you did so good. Oh yeah, that's. Did really you see awesome it? Uh -huh. Yeah. No wonder it's called a spelling bee. Yeah. What? Can you see the trophy? You can go see it. Just you take it to you. So anyway, now we're trying to figure out what they're going to have for dinner. I have some pasta and broccoli and some sauce in the fridge that needs to be used up. I think I'm going to mix this all up together for them um, and hodgepodge it for myself and Andres because I honestly, I kind of, my head hurts too bad really to care about food. I picked up this frame today. It matches the one that Autumn has in her room. And it has a release picture in it, and it's so pretty. I'm fairly certain, though, this is bigger than the one Autumn has in her room, though. But that's okay. Huh? Yeah. Let me see it. Let me see. <laughs> Whoa. She lost it at school, which is a first. You gotta leave that in there and then put it in your tooth pillow, okay? Okay. Tooth fairy pillow. Oh yeah. I think downstairs. Girls are gonna read the tooth fairy book. Should memorize that by now. Lord, this tooth fairy has been here very frequently. Huh? I lost the night before the tooth. I'm gonna lose four teeth. <laughs> she may be here in the next few days again too. Mm-hmm. The night before the tooth fairy. <laughs> yeah. It was the night before the tooth fairy would come to would come take my tooth. I've been so excited that ever since it got loose.